Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Living in Fort Lauderdale. If you watched the last video, you already know where we're at. And today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of living in Davie, Florida. And we're starting right now. What's up everybody? My name's Rob Zioli and I'm a real estate agent right down here in South Florida. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and click the little bell below to be notified anytime we go ahead and make a new video. I have a passion for making videos about what it's like to live and play down here in South Florida. But more than that, guys, I'm a local real estate agent and absolutely love to help people with their real estate needs. So if you have any questions at all about moving to the Fort Lauderdale metro area, Broward County, or anywhere in South Florida, my information is popping up down below. You can reach me by phone, by text, by email. I answer all inquiries directly and look forward to hearing from you. So let's get right into the video. Now the first pro about living down here in Davie, Florida and pretty much all of South Florida has got to be the weather. So today it's uh, what, March 31st and uh, we have a temperature outside of like 84 degrees. It's actually a little bit warm, but most of the year we have fantastic weather. Um, and most people that move here, because of that, they find themselves living a much more active lifestyle because they spend more time outside. Now, the weather can also be a con because during the summer months, you know, when you're talking July and August, it gets brutally, brutally hot down here throughout South Florida. So definitely something you gotta be prepared for if you're gonna be moving down here. It's a little different than coming here on vacation where you're here for a couple of weeks, but living here, they say you get used to the heat, um, I don't know if that's true. I think you just get uh, adjusted to dealing with it. So it would really affect somebody who's going to be doing some work outside. Um, you know, any sort of outside job, landscaping, um, roofing. I don't know how those guys do it, but um, you know, you're definitely going to um, deal with the heat. So if it's you don't like it hot, uh, you might want to rethink <laughs> moving down anywhere in South Florida. Also, down here in South Florida, we do have hurricanes. So through June through November, we have hurricane season. Um, as I always say in all the videos, we've been very, very lucky in the last decade, but it's always something you gotta be prepared for. Um, just follow the news, you'll have plenty of time uh, knowing when there's a hurricane coming towards, if it's gonna be hitting us directly, and plenty of time to prepare. The key is to be prepared and don't wait when you know a hurricane is coming. Now the second pro is the incredible amount of things to do and the activities available in the city of Davie. Now the city of Davie was designed with open green spaces in mind. So there's tons and tons of parks and there's like a 187 or 181 mile trail uh, for horseback riding and equestrian activity. And these are amenities that you just cannot find in any other city throughout South Florida. <clears throat> Also, if you have young children, you definitely want to check out the Young at Art Museum. Now, this place has got to be the coolest kids museum ever. Now, kids can do some really cool stuff like ride a New York City subway train, learn about faraway customs, visit a cave and discover an archaeological dig. And they also have this thing called the Alice in Wonderscape exhibit, and it's extremely cool. So if you're looking for something fun and educational for the little kids, you definitely want to check out the Young at Art Museum. There is also a bunch of golf courses here in Davie, including the Grand Oaks Golf Club, which you might have seen and has become famous uh, because they filmed the movie Caddyshack there. And also, don't forget that Davie is just 15 to 20 minutes to the Fort Lauderdale Beach, so you're always close to a bunch of different activities for you and the family. Now, the third pro for Davie is the great location. So, Davie is pretty much central in Broward County and borders the Interstate 595. So you're very close to everything. No matter where you wanna go in South Florida, you have access east and west from I-595, which goes to the Turnpike, north and south, I-75, north and south, and also I-95, north and south, which goes to Miami and Palm Beach. There's um, two uh, international seaports, maybe 15 minutes away, and also the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, which is about 15 minutes away. So whether you wanna do anything here locally in South Florida or travel internationally, you cannot find a better location than Davie, Florida. And this will bring us to our second con for Davie, and that is the traffic. Now, if you live in Davie, Florida, you're definitely gonna run into some traffic, especially on University Drive, on I think I call it the Davie Mile. Now, this is right at the border of Davie at um, 595 and University Drive. 
A little bit east right there is also the Tower Shops, and there's a bunch of stores and a big st on that strip, and <laughs> you can expect to sit in traffic there, especially during rush hour in the morning and right around five o'clock in the evening, you will definitely hit traffic there. And this brings us to our fourth pro, which is the shopping. Like I just mentioned, Davey has what they call the Tower Shops. So the Tower Shops is a big outdoor shopping mall right at the border of State Road 84 or I-95 and University Drive. So they have some big box retailers here in uh, the Tower Shops like um, Ross, TJ Maxx, Trader Joe's, DSW, Old Navy, Michael's, Office Depot, Best Buy, uh, there's Costco over there, there's also a Home Depot, there's also a bunch of small uh, boutique shops and salons as well, and some really great dining options as well, including Burgerfy, Bento Asian Kitchen, Flanagan Seafood, Del Vecchio's Pizza, Gofo's Noodles and Rice, Miller's Ale House, and much, much more. And as far as shopping goes, Davy is only minutes away from the Broward Westfield Mall and also the Sawgrass Mills Mall, which is the largest shopping destination in the whole country. So you're close to all kinds of shopping here in Davy. Now the fifth pro for the city of Davy is definitely the school system. Now, like I mentioned in a previous video, anytime I talk to someone that has kids that are in school and they're looking to move down here to the greater Fort Lauderdale area or um, Broward County, they always consider Davie as an option because of the great school system. So the city of Davie has some great elementary schools, they have great middle schools, high schools, as well as some really, really good colleges and universities where students come from all over the country uh, to study for various different business degrees, science degrees, and tech degrees. Now these colleges and universities make up the South Florida Education Center, or SFEC, and they include um, universities like Broward College, FAU, Novi University, the University of Florida and McFadder Technical Center. And this brings us to our third con, is that there's a lot of college students during certain times of the year in the city of Davie. Now that's not really a bad thing, but um, it does make things a little more congested. Also, a lot of these students don't know the area very well, so they are not very good drivers. And uh, just so you know, South Florida ranks number three for the highest insurance premiums in the country. And the reason they say that our insurance rates are so high is that we have a lot of uninsured drivers and a lot of high-risk drivers. And they classify the high-risk drivers as elderly people, seniors, tourists, and college kids that don't know the area. So you can expect to run into a bunch of those college students in the city of Davie. Now the fourth con for the city of Davie and actually all of South Florida has got to be the critters and the animals and the bugs. So we have all types of snakes down here in South Florida. Um, some poisonous, you don't really see many of those in residential areas, but they do exist. We have um, all kinds of frogs and uh, I think they call them cane toads which can be very dangerous to your pets, so you gotta keep uh, your dogs away from them. If they bite them, they're poisonous to pets. We have fire ants, we have little geckos and lizards. South Florida is also well known for its alligators, but we also have what is called a palmetto bug. But I like to just call it a big roach, because that's what it looks like to me. It's about an inch or longer. Brown looks like a big roach, but one thing about the palmetto bug is that it flies. Okay, so... <laughs> If you're ever going to go to uh, swat this thing or crush it or hit it on a wall, um, you know, you can expect that it will protect itself and fly away or maybe fly right at you and land in your hair. So definitely keep on the lookout for the palmetto bugs. That's my uh, least favorite critter in the state of Florida. And we'll close this out with the sixth pro for the city of Davie, and it has to be the people. Now, Davie has some very, very friendly people and a very diverse community. So you have to remember, Davie was designed with a Western theme in mind, so it wouldn't be uncommon for you to be walking down the street and happen to meet a neighbor who's riding a horse. How cool is that? And you could also mingle with some of these neighbors at one of the very popular Davie watering holes like the Roundup Night Club, the Road Dog Saloon, or Billy's Tavern. So I want to thank y'all for watching the pros and cons of uh, living here in Davie, Florida. And speaking of Davie, Florida, or anywhere here in South Florida, we would love to help you with your real estate needs or to help you find that perfect place you might be thinking of moving to or just want to go see. But in order to do that, again, you got to reach out. So again, my information is popping up down below. I would love to help you out with your future moves and moving down to South Florida. Until the next video, we'll catch you later.